Hey, hi, hello. I'm so tired. <laughs> oh my god. So I'm just gonna start this because I gotta get ready. And I'm starting with the milk cooling water stick because as you can see, my eyes are puffy AF. So why am I so tired? Why are my eyes puffy? Last night was the Labyrinth of Jareth masquerade. Oh, this feels good. And I was working the masquerade. I was, I wasn't performing, but I was like ambiance. So I was just there to like look pretty and whimsical in a room. And that's what I did. And I posted the look in my stories and you guys went nuts. So I figured I would film myself getting ready for the second day. And today is actually the face awards, but labyrinth is also happening and I want to go to both. And that means I have to go to the face awards dressed in my labyrinth costume, which is kind of crazy. I'm going to be like the most extra person there, but I also kind of don't care. I don't know. I feel like the face awards should be a place for people to like be extra, right? And I created a poll in my stories asking you guys if I should be extra and you guys said yes. So I'm doing it. I'm going to recreate the exact look I wore yesterday because I got a lot of questions about it. So I'm starting off with primer and I'm comboing the Smashbox Primerizer and the Milk Makeup Blur Stick. This is because I use the primerizer on my dry areas. It is very nourishing, very moisturizing. And I use the blur stick on my oily areas. So if you've never heard of the LOJ Masquerade and you have no idea what I'm talking about, I posted a video about it, so click up here to watch it. I'll link it down below too. And it is a masquerade ball that's been happening for 21 years and it's based on the movie Labyrinth. Now, it used to be a lot more based on the movie, way back in the day, but they created their own storyline. So there's a bunch of characters and every year the story develops, right? And because of that, the story is now, it has nothing to do with the movie whatsoever. So if you go expecting to see Jareth and the goblins and Ludo, you're not going to see any of that except for the attendees who do dress up like Jareth. There's always a lot of people that dress up like him every year. And you'll see some people dressed up like some of the characters from the movie. So you do see that. But the storyline that you see on stage, it has nothing to do with the movie. However, it's still in the same theme. In the, I can't get this closed. Still in the same theme, still in the same, like, universe. It's all very, like, fantasy, whimsical. I, I can't think of words. Just, you know what I mean. Okay, now I'm going in with the LA Girl Pro Concealer in yellow to cover up my spots. And I don't really know why I'm doing this because I'm covering up my spots with the pearls. That is why I have pearls all over my face because my skin is completely broken out. So whenever I glue shit to my face or I do freckles or whatever... It's mainly to hide breakouts. The easiest way to hide a breakout is covering it with something else. So yeah, that's my little trick. That's what I do. And I use yellow concealer for breakouts. I don't use green because green doesn't look natural on the skin. Like it doesn't blend well. It's like harder to cover up than yellow. And yellow does a better job, I find, than green for spots. So yesterday I got to the event at 1.30. It starts at 7 for VIP. So I got there at 1, had to grab my badge, and then I started getting ready at 3. And then I stopped to eat, and I was ready by 6.30. So it's an all-day thing. And it goes until 2. So I got home at like 3.30? Yeah, and I went to sleep at like almost five, I want to say, because I got home, took a shower, etc. And I woke up at 11, so I'm exhausted. I need minimum eight hours of sleep to function. 10 is ideal, minimum eight. Now for foundation, I'm using the Rimmel Lasting Finish 25 Hour Breathable Foundation, and I'm using two colors so I can get the right shade. I'm like a child. I need a lot of hours of sleep and I've just always been that way like people are like oh children need a lot of sleep but they grow out of it I never grew out of it I honestly like need eight hours of sleep otherwise I'm gonna be puffy I'm gonna be maybe cranky it's it's just bad so I'm adding the darker color kind of to the perimeters of my face and like where I would contour and I've said this before and I'll say it again 
freaking love this foundation. It goes on super lightweight, but the coverage is pretty great for how lightweight it is. And it looks like skin, and it's a drugstore foundation. So you can't go wrong with that in my book. See, look how good that looks. Just looks like glowy, healthy skin. So my costume last night, it's actually a character. We all have characters with backstories and names and all that. And my name is Shuktija and it's Sanskrit for born of a pearl oyster. So it essentially means pearl, but the mermaid queen's name is Pearl. And so we're still figuring out if I'm, I was supposed to be her handmaiden, but she kept calling me her daughter all night. I just went with it because I'm not a mermaid, but she kept calling me her daughter. So I'm like, okay, I'm fine with that. She's awesome. She's beautiful. I'm fine with that. Next up for concealer, I'm using the NYX HD concealer and the shape tape. And I'm just putting the shape tape under my eyes to brighten that area because God knows I need it. If you've never been to Labyrinth, it is a crazy event. Because it's been happening for so many years, people know when to expect it. It always falls on like the same weekend every year. So like people work on their costumes for like the entire year. And some people like go all out. It's insane. There was one year, I didn't see it, but I heard from a lot of people that there was a group of women and they had like big ball gowns, like hoop skirts, you know? But like the hoop skirt was cut open at the front and they had like a little city with an actual train riding around on a track. And when they shook their hips, snow would fall. So they were like actual snow globes. It's insane. Now going in with the Milk Makeup Blur and Set Powder. Oh my God, there's glitter all over the sponge because of yesterday. Whoops. So I'm going to take that and set my under eye area. And sorry I'm zoomed out so far, but you'll see why in just a few seconds. I'll zoom in to do the face stuff, but first we're gonna do the body. I'm also gonna powder my foreheads, rather my five heads. And that's it, minimal powder for now. Who the hell's the lid to this? I just had it. What the actual fuck? I don't know where the lid went. I am very confused right now. So I'm gonna set this aside with no lid because it just disappeared. And I'm gonna contour real quick. I'm using the Tarte Pro Glow palette and I'm using the cream color, just taking that on my finger. This is super pigmented. I tapped like that and that's how much pigment we're getting. And See, it is very dark. So I'm just tapping it and blending it into the skin. Now I got used to doing my contour with my fingers because of the milk contour sticks, the bronzer sticks, and I actually kind of love it. If you've never done it, maybe try because it just blends and melts everything together so beautifully. And the reason I'm using this and not the milk sticks is because this is a much cooler toned color. The milk sticks are bronzer sticks. They give warmth and I don't want any warmth in this look at all. It's all cool tones. I'm snatching that nose because, you know. And also, doing it in this corner right here. I'm also adding that right under my lip. Like that. Let me chin a little bit, cause I have a chin that could crush men. I'm just long, like big forehead, big chin. I don't know. Now I think I just set that a little bit. I don't remember if I set it or not. Whoa, that's a lot of powder. I don't remember if I set it, but I'm just gonna go ahead and set it a little bit with the medium powder from Milk, and I'm taking it on a brush because I just want just the slightest amount. I'm also gonna set my lids. I'm gonna set this a little bit, just very lightly. And now moving to the star of the show, it's the NYX Away We Glow Drop Highlighter. They call it the Liquid Booster. 
And this one's in the color Glazed Donuts. All right. And it does apply better with your fingers, but I got my hands really dirty doing that yesterday. Like, I washed it, but they were still sparkly. So I might not do that today. We'll see. If I really have to, I will. So instead of using my hand, I'm just going to use a really dense brush by Moda. This is the Complexion Brush M06. And I'm just going to take the drops and... Oh, hold on. They set kind of fast, which is interesting, but just take that and... See, it's weird because it seems like they set instantly when you try to blend them out with a brush, but then when you use your fingers, they just like blend perfectly and you're like, what? So that's why you kind of have to use your fingers for this. I don't know. So I really concentrated it on my collarbones and especially my shoulders, but I essentially applied it everywhere. So because I am a pearl, essentially, I just wanted to be completely pearlescent. Look at that. But see how it's like kind of, I don't know if you can see that it's like streaky when I use the brush. And then if I use my finger, it just blends out into my skin perfectly. So you know what? I'm going to do that. I'm going to use my hands because I really want to get it like on my entire arm. I put it here and a little bit on my forearm as well. And then I want to make sure you guys can see this. Just apply it like moisturizer. And it just gives a beautiful pearlescent finish. And that's just like the base because we are gonna make it even shinier. So also on my chesticles, which you can't see, but there we go. And then just kind of rub that in. You can do this with any liquid highlighter. They all work for the same purpose. And it just looks so pretty. Like doing this on your legs as well is like, oh. I feel like I'm taking a bath in highlighter. And I mean, that is basically what I'm doing. And now I'm gonna go wash my hands because this is ridiculous. So while I was washing my hands, I realized I forgot to contour my body. And it's very quick, very simple using this as well. I just contoured my collarbone a little bit to make that highlight really pop. And then I also contoured right between my chest, just a little bit, just to bring that out. You can also do above the collarbone to really make them pop. She's a skinny legend. Look at that. <laughs> okay, now I will be taking the liquid highlighter on a brush. I'm just dropping it on the back of my hand and I'm gonna take that brush and I'm going to apply it to my cheekbones, kind of blending it out. But I don't want the product that's underneath to move. So I'm kind of patting it in instead of dragging it. I'm also taking that on my brow bone and a little bit on my temples on my forehead because I really want to shine. With this look you're supposed to look at it and be like is she sweaty? Is she oily? Or is she highlighted? And by the end of the night I was all three and it looked great so there we go. And then I'm taking a little bit of that putting it on the tip of my nose and on the bridge. I'm also putting that on my chin and then on my cupid's bow. And that's the liquid highlighter done. Now moving on to the powder highlighter. And this is by Saucebox Cosmetics. It's their Skin Veil in Champagne Bomb. And it is the most beautiful shine I've ever seen in anything in my life. It's kind of like, you know, the way the Fenty Beauty Trophy Wife sparkles, where it's like a bunch of tiny little sparkles just scattered. It's like that, but champagne colored. And it's 
a loose powder and it's super pigmented so I just dab my brush a little bit tap the excess off and it's blinding but it's the most beautiful shine like I don't think the camera can even capture it because it's so like multi-dimensional it's a crazy I just really want to make that collarbone pop and then I'm also adding that to my shoulders I am tapping off the excess Oh wait, I can't see very well in the mirror I'm using, but I'm gonna have to trust it. Oh yeah. And I'm also gonna add it to my face, but at the end of my makeup because I'm still gonna put blush and all that. So I really want this to sit on top of everything to really pop. So we will come back to it later. Okay, now body's done. I'm gonna start with the eyes. Actually, I lied. I'm going to contour a little bit more with the Lunatic Cosmetics Volume 1 palette, and I'm taking this color right here just to do a bit more contouring to chisel those cheekbones just a tiny bit more. Because if you have so much reflection on your face, if you have so much light bouncing off your face, you want to make sure that you also have dimension to it because the light is great, but it flattens the skin out. You just see light. So you need to make sure that there's dimension on your face to balance it out and to make it look still like human, if that makes sense. I was going to say natural, but natural is not the word I am looking for. Okay, now onto the eyes, and I'm using the Body Shop British Rose Palette, and I'm going to be using this color right here. And I'm starting at the start of my eyebrow, a little bit under it, and I'm just creating that sad-looking swoop that I love to do. It's basically just a diagonal line from this end to this end. And I'm, like, blending that out a little bit. And I'm also bringing that above my eyebrow and onto the eyebrow as well. So for this look, if you don't have bleached brows like I do, I would recommend covering your brows because it really adds to that like ethereal look. Not having brows changes a lot and it just adds to this sort of look. I'm also adding quite a bit to the lower lash line and I'm going further down with it than I think I normally would. Just a little bit. Now this is just our transition shade, like our base shade really. I'm going to deepen it further, but I really wanna get this blend as smooth as possible. And that's kinda what we're going for. Next up is one of my all-time favorite palettes, whoops, from NYX. And it's the Cool Neutrals Ultimate Palette. And I'm going to be using this blue right here to just deepen everything up a little bit. This is the color I used to use for my eyebrows when I had blue hair. It was the perfect shade because it was a cool toned muted blue. So it looked more natural in terms of having a colored brow that under as well. I don't want to go super dark with this. This look is still very light and pretty, but you still need to have dimension, as I said. Without dimension, you just look like a glowing ball of light, and you don't really want that. You want the light to just catch the high points of your face. The best example I can give is you know those like living statues that paint themselves silver or gold or whatever and then they just like do one layer of silver and they just look flat. You don't want that. You want your face to, you know, pop out the bone structure because I mean, come on, work those cheekbones. Next I'm going to be taking that same color on a really small pencil brush and oh, I found the lid to the powder you guys. Where did I put the powder? Oh, it's here. <laughs> the actual worst. So I'm taking that color right 
along the bottom lash line and along the upper lash line as well. And then taking a little bit into this corner here. I look so sad. I love it. And yes, there's still lash glue on my lashes from last night. I could not take it off. I tried. So you're just going to have to deal with it. The eye is actually fairly simple because it's not the focus of this look. Next, I'm going to go with the Be A Bombshell eye paint in the color Make It Rain. So I'm just going to put that all over the lid and right here, just in that empty area right there. I'm just blending it out. So that's it. Super simple on the lids. Then I'm going in. Okay, listen. I have a lot of feelings about Lime Crime. And I know that Doe Deer isn't the CEO anymore. So I don't know. I still don't know how to feel about them currently. But I'm going in with the Lime Crime Diamond Crushers. And the reason I have this product is I got it at BeautyCon. And the shine to it is unlike any product I've ever tried, it's really, really unique. Like, it's truly unique. I don't think there's a dupe for it anywhere. That's the reason I'm using it. I'm going to be using two of the Diamond Crushers for this look. So, I don't know. What do you think about Lime Crime? I would actually like to hear your opinions on the matter in the comments below. So let me know. What do you think about them as a company? I know that their products are good quality. Like, I know that. I've tried them. I just don't know how to feel about them. So yeah. <laughs> so this is a lip product. So I'm not advising you to use this on your eyes. I don't know if it's eye safe. I'm using it on my eyes, not saying you should do this. I'm just showing you what I did yesterday. So I just put that, look at that. Oh, it's too pretty. And because I know this is a lip product and I wasn't sure if it was eye safe, I put it on my eyelids and waited to see if I felt any bad reaction to it and I didn't. So I ended up putting it on my inner corner as well, but being very careful not to get it close to the lash line or to my tear ducts. And I'm going to come back to this product on my inner corner because I'm going to do something beforehand, but you'll see why this was like essential to the look. So now I'm going to go back in with that champagne balm and I am taking that my inner corner and I am spreading it downwards. So when I was doing this makeup yesterday, I thought this was pretty, but I thought it was missing something. And that's when I went back in with the diamond crushers. Oh yeah, the color I'm using is cloud nine, by the way. So I'm going to be very careful with this. I'm going to apply it right there. And it just has the most beautiful foiled blue purple sheen to it. It's crazy. On camera, it's reading like white, but it's blue in person. And that's why it's it gives such a pop because it's blue contrasting like with the champagne and the tone of my skin. It's just so beautiful. It's ridiculous how beautiful this is. And that's why I don't know how to feel about Lime Crime. I'm like, ugh, why do you have to have truly unique products? Okay, so that is the eyes pretty much done. I'm gonna leave the waterline and lashes till later. Now I'm gonna go in with the Smashbox Ablaze palette and I'm gonna be using this color heavily. So I'm just really packing it onto my brush. And I know this is a highlighter, but I'm using it as blush. So I'm applying it wherever I would normally apply blush. And now you see that my entire cheek is shiny. So I'm just packing loads of that on onto my chin as well. And tip of my nose a little bit. And now I'm going to go in with this blush color. Whoa, sorry. This blush color right here. I'm going to concentrate that like right under my eye, getting really close to the eye too. Like I'm bringing it up here and blending it down. But see how highlight really highlights your problem areas. So if you have texture on your skin, shimmery products are the worst for that because it will 100% bring them out. And that's why I stuck 
a bunch of pearls to my face so I could hide all this texture. I usually recommend for people that have really textured skin do a matte highlight instead of a shiny one. I know that like the shiny highlight on the cheekbone is beautiful, but if you have a lot of texture there, I would recommend going with a matte highlight instead. It really helps to diminish the appearance of the texture. Taking that color on my chin as well, on my cupid's bow, and around my lips. Then going back in with the Lunatic Cosmetics Contour Palette, taking a smaller brush, and I'm using this darkest color here, and I'm just concentrating that right under my eye. Also taking that little bit on the tip of my nose where I applied the contour, not on the very tip, just around the tip of my nose, I should have said. And then also around my lips because we all know I love that blurred lip effect. I do it under, do it there, I do it on the little corners, that. Kind of makes your lips look naturally pouty when you have this shaded in. I don't think I applied this much blush yesterday, but it's fine. So for lips, I'm using the Rimmel Stay Matte Liquid Lip Color, Rosetto Liquido. Going to take that above my cupid's bow and in the inner part of my bottom lip. I'm taking a brush to spread that out. I'm cleaning off the brush so that I can just blend out the edges without spreading the product too much. Take a little bit more on my brush. And I'm also taking that under the lip, right where I contoured. I'm spreading it out a bit and I'm taking it in these little corners and then cleaning off the brush and blending it out. So once you look sufficiently pouty, the trick is really heightening the cupid's bow, but not overlining the sides of your mouth. So just the top and the bottom, but don't overline the sides and it looks super pouty. Then going in with the other diamond crushers, this is in the color Summer. I'm going to take that on my actual cupid's bow, not the new one I've created and blend that out a little bit and then i'm also taking it right here on my bottom lip line because you see i applied the lipstick outside of my lip line i'm taking it on my lip line it just gives a really interesting effect that helps with the whole pouty look and then i'm also taking this above my lip line here and highlighting that. Then I'm taking a clean brush and just blending that out a little bit. Oh and I almost forgot I'm going back in with this diamond crusher as well and I'm adding that to the cupid's bow too. Just a touch of it. Now I think I'm gonna start with the pearls and then leave lashes and stuff for last. And this is the thing I got asked the most about all night and in my DMs. Everyone was like, how did you attach the pearls? And it's something that's so simple, it's kind of ridiculous. I just used self-adhesive flat back pearls so that I wouldn't have to individually glue them on with like lash glue or something. So these are just craft pearls that I got on Amazon, got a pack of like 500, used up like half of them, and that's it. So you just, Peel them off the little thing and you stick them on. It is that simple. And it comes in varying sizes so you can just like that. And in my case I stuck them wherever I had texture from my breakouts. If I see texture there's a pearl going right on top. So yeah this was it. This was the big secret. Self-adhesive pearls. And you just glue away your problems and your acne. See? It almost looks like I have clear skin. Almost. Ah. 
I have to really like press down on it. See? Clear skin. Instantly. All that texture? Gone. You don't need acne medication. You just need pearls. That's all you need in your life. Pearls. Who knew? The pearls I stuck on my dress, on the other hand, yes, I did bedazzle the dress and the purse and my nails all myself and the starfish that went on the dress. That I stuck on using E6000 because if you want something to stay on fabric, you need really strong glue. Look, clear skin instantly. It's ridiculous. What breakouts? You have no breakouts. You have beautiful pearls. And that's all that matters. And that's also why the pattern is so like random and also organic at the same time is because I'm putting it over my breakouts. I just realized I forgot to go back in with Champagne Balm to finish off the face and yesterday I also applied it to my chest area so I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now so on my face applying it there and then I also applied it to my cheekbones thought I was looking too rosy this just brings back the shine a little bit okay a lot really uh, my neck ones keep falling but that's fine I prefer to just have to add some on if they fall off rather than like apply each individual one with lash glue because that would just take forever so i'm fine if they fall off a little bit i'm not too bothered and you could go light on the pearls but i just don't think it would have the same effect the way someone described my makeup yesterday was that it looked like i was wearing a veil that had the pearls on it and i loved that description you can always do this with like rhinestones as well. I'm just a huge fan of pearls. I don't like diamonds that much. I love pearls on the other hand, and I just think they look classy. Like, I don't know, there's something about pearls that just looks expensive. To me, pearls look way more expensive than diamonds do. That's just, that's just me. Not a fan of diamonds. So I don't care that I don't have a diamond ring. I love my little silver ring. So I also brought the pearls down on my arms. I only took them about down to here, kind of, going smaller as I went and more sparse. I think I have a lot of pearls on today, mostly on my face, like there's a lot here. I didn't have all this going on yesterday, but I'm afraid that if I take it off, I have to like redo the skin a bit. I don't know, I might take off like this one. Oh, this is a good idea, using the clean end of the beauty blender to just push them in so they don't fall. I think that's good. I definitely do have more pearls than I did yesterday. Got a little bit carried away. It's easier doing something like this with a big mirror because then you can see the overall picture. And I'm using a very small mirror. Yesterday I had a bigger one so I had a better sense of when enough was enough. And today I had to go, I had to step out for a second and look at it in a full length mirror to see what I'm dealing with. So yeah, now I just gotta finish the eyes and I'm done. On the lash line, I'm going in with the Makeup Forever Artist Color Pencil and Boundless Bisque. I really love this pencil. And then as always, Milk Makeup Kush Mascara. I'm still trying to decide if I should wear a short wig today just so I'm not super extra at the face awards. But at the same time, I think the long one really completes the look, but we'll see. Because there's like the crown too. I thought about not wearing the crown. I feel like this is extra, but the hair and the crown make it too extra. It's like I'm okay with this, but not, you know, the big hair and crown. Which is totally weird. I understand that. I'm just like comfortable wearing loud makeup, but not loud outfits, if that makes sense. Like, I think that makeup, it's just paint on your face, you can just wash it off, it's whatever. Doesn't matter what makeup you have on. But outfits are like a commitment, I find, more than just makeup. I might be crazy for thinking that. I don't know. In my head it makes sense. 
Oh, god damn it. I just realized I forgot to put champagne balm on my brow bone. Not that my brow bone isn't shiny, but you know. Next I'm applying the Lily Lashes in Mink Miami. I hate that I'm wearing lashes two days in a row and contacts because that's what aggravates everything. It's like contacts and lashes. It makes my eyes so sensitive and so tired by the end of the day. Ugh. But it is what it is. It's the life I chose. One thing I like to do is instead of doing liner before lashes, I know it's easier to do that, but I like doing my liner after lashes so that I only need to fill in the parts that are necessary. Like I go in and I kind of go like under my lashes and go in between my lashes and the fake ones where necessary. Today I'm applying them a little bit above my natural lash line just so they're slightly more comfortable because I am going to be wearing them for like 12 hours again. Oh yeah, and my liquid liner of choice is the NYX Epic Ink Liner. That's the look with lashes on. And today I decided to wear the short wig instead of the long one because I was really warm yesterday and I don't want to be uncomfortable today. So this is it. I'm definitely going to post pictures of the long hair one because I think it looks super ethereal and amazing. But this is just a little bit more comfortable since I'm going to two events. I didn't want to be sweaty and gross for either of them. So that was it. This wig is a little bit finicky though. I tried to like style it with some hairspray, but it's still like has a mind of its own. Yeah, I'm gonna have to figure that out. But thank you so, so much for watching. Be sure to give this a thumbs up if you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye.